ever asked yourself how to shoot the best picture of a food? I'm going to tell you today how to create, how to do a best picture of a delicious food image. We are here in Frankfurt in Studio Meissen, our company and partner whom we're going to do the um, yearly LSG Sky Chefs calendar with. And I'm going to take you inside now, have a look and experience the new image. We are now in the kitchen, in the heart of the studio here. And this is Andreas Miesner, our food stylist, who's going to support us to create the wonderful dish of an artichoke, which is a trendy and healthy food item. And I guess everyone likes it, and especially in the way we're going to do it. So those are the ingredients which we're going to use later to prepare our final dish. I will going to try some nice piece of horseradish here. Mm, very delicious, very fresh. Ja, die Frische des Bildes, muss ich einfach sagen, ist auch abhängig von der Frische des Produktes. Also wenn das Produkt nicht frisch ist, kann auch das Bild nicht frisch sein. Und je besser diese Qualität, desto einfacher ist es zu kochen und desto einfacher ist es zu fotografieren. This is our scribble, which has been developed together with the agency, the photographer and the food stylist. And the artichoke is going to be placed here with some ingredients over there. This is how we want it to be. This is the final set for the next step for the actual picture. So you can see everyone working in the background. Michael, our food photographer, he's going to prepare the artichoke and it's very detailed. It is a lot of work because we want to show the heart of the artichoke or want to show like an explosion of the artichoke but in a very aesthetic way. Andreas is going to add some oil to get some shiny feeling on it and the final shoot is coming. Das ist jetzt unser fertiges Produkt. Ich wollte bewusst vor Weiß fotografieren, weil das einfach die Sache reduziert. Mhm. Es hat einen besseren grafischen Auftritt und unsere Artischocke wird auch zum Kunstwerk. Now we're going to go into the post-production. The team has done a brilliant job. Everyone supported, everyone did its best. We've been here now half a day and now the post-production is the part of the job which fixes all the little details which I don't really see, but in the end it makes even a much better picture than we already have.